Well, good morning, good morning. I'm outside in the garden this morning, looking around. It's a big encore azalea. I love the encores. They're beautiful flowering. They flower like crazy, but um, all the ones that I've ever had, had you know, or had, I've always been. I'm very susceptible to um, insects. They don't have any type of um, resistance, built-in resistance or natural resistance. <clears throat> Maybe because of, the, because of the hybridization or something. I'm not sure. Gorgeous bloomers, beautiful bloomers, but um, these guys are like aphid magnets. You can see. Um, See what the infestation will do. That's old foliage from last year. I've used a systemic on them this already. This I used it on last fall, and I need to hit them again here sometime the next week or two as they're starting to grow pretty good. And um, <clears throat> see if we can stop that from happening again this year. Siberian irises are coming out. This is just a wild patch that grew from something that spread. I need to dig it up, move it. Same with the bearded iris right there. It's just a stray. We've got a handful of strays. Some of the lilies are starting to come up. Got a little dogwood tree I need to relocate. There's the shade house. Sorry about that being moved quick. Just thought I'd show you around some of the garden. <clears throat> I've already been in here scraping some of the weeds back and opening things up. Letting sun and water get down into them better. I've got a bunch of stuff that needs weeding, as you can tell. Big patch of lilies needs to be divided. Um, some Easter lilies coming up over there. Amongst right on the edge of those um, bearded irises that needs to be split and divided. That's a big clump needs to be moved some of it. I love the bearded irises <clears throat> they're um, I Don't know they even when they're when they're not blooming they have beautiful foliage um, Their their colors are very striking come in all types of colors, but they're easy to care for they usually keep weeds out once they get real thick the weeds don't grow around them um, They spread fill up a bed um, little blood and bone meal and they're good to go they like bright sun they can take a little bit of shade as well but um they're happy and they just bloom like crazy one of the first things that pops up in the spring those purple ones always make me think of um the painter monet just love it just beautiful <clears throat> this is a siberian iris these will get about four foot tall bloom spikes <clears throat> just really loaded up um just every couple of years i take this clump and divide it up split it up and uh, move it around a little bit and it just keeps coming up stronger and stronger <clears throat> some empty beds this is actually a uh, black-eyed Susan Rebecca some of the lizards running around oops sorry about that this is black-eyed Susan this is a little it looks like a little small variety but this uh, this perennial it actually is one of my favorite ones I've seen so many varieties of black-eyed Susans and this particular one. Look at look at the chipmunks. I'm built in my Fred Flintstone house. He's been digging, throwing dirt out. Or the dogs may have been trying to dig him out, one of the two. I need to look at that. But um I need to pull this bed up a little bit so it's settled down. But um this particular one has a real thick, shiny, hard leaf versus a lot of my real soft and fuzzy leafed. I like this variety a little bit better. Um, it seems to handle the Alabama heat a little bit better. <clears throat> Empty bed needs to be cleaned out bunch of hostas I did divide last fall and a couple of them three blues and two variegated and um, they need to get in the ground um, <clears throat> they're plenty big enough have good roots now More hostas coming up this probably doesn't interest anybody but um for those of you that are still sitting in snow or cold um, it's like 70 degrees out here it's gonna be 75 76 today and um, just a beautiful spring day and um, I wish everybody was enjoying it. That's another pretty hosta. Um, has a pointed leaf on it, like an arrowhead. Really interesting. That one's gotten really, really large and uh, is ready, it looks like, to be undivided too. <clears throat> have to wait till later on. Some of the beds, I've got a bunch of stuff to clean up. I've got a big brush pile here and another big rock pile I need to split up and move around. Um, anytime I run across rocks, and <clears throat> it's probably one of the reasons I had to get back surgery is a uh, I can't help it. <clears throat> I hate to throw these or see them get thrown out or tossed. And um, when I run across people who have extras, I'll grab them because they, I mean, it just, it's the best thing in the world for building big beds and walls and stuff like that. <clears throat> Just brush pile to toss some stuff. <clears throat> Since I guess I'm dragging you around my yard, this is a little miniature hosta called Golden Tierra. It's finally gotten large enough where I can start dividing it now too and spread it around. 
it's a really pretty one but it gets gorgeous big purple blooms on it real long stems really pretty one and doesn't get too large spread slowly which is nice <clears throat> another encore this one's had systemic and is doing much much better um, has almost grown out of the aphid issue it had from a year and a half ago <clears throat> and all that foliage has been replaced by now and it looks a lot better different and it's loaded with buds this this spring it's just loaded with buds right now it's just starting to open up <clears throat> this is a yellow canna lily which i'm not real happy with it's not a very resistant one it has a seem to have a continual problem with um leaf roller what they call cane leaf roller um, <clears throat> And no matter how much you spray it, they just keep coming back and keep coming back. And even on the new foliage, I can already see some of the, some issues with it already. So I'm, I may get rid of this one, kill this one off, and plant something different back there. I'm not sure yet. Depends on what kind of energy I have, but I'm, <clears throat> I'm so far behind in my yard work. This is an azalea that needs a little bit of trimming down. So it's a beautiful pink. That's an encore as well. It also had a systemic. <clears throat> Seems to be doing much, much better. The other one I showed you, or I had her earlier on the other side, didn't get sprayed. And it's still dealing with all those... Uh, aphid issues um, <clears throat> that's a variety of um, hydrangea a lace cap hydrangea um, doesn't do well in Alabama it's not it's not like in the heat down here it doesn't do well <clears throat> um, even when I put it in more shade and stuff it still it still hasn't done well and this where it is right now gets more early Sun and then shady rest of the day this big hoss is huge way over way over time for dividing it should have been divided it's five times already um, there's 20 plants right there probably another big clump of those beautiful um, bearded irises water drops on them that's just beautiful really pretty variegated hosta I believe that's a uh, purple cone flower Mr. Jackson, the gentleman that brings me all that beautiful wood, brought me this. I planted it last fall. It's a wild Alabama lily. I just don't know which variety yet. I'll have to see it bloom before I can identify it. But um, he said just get ready for it. He said it was going to be something spectacular. So no telling with Mr. Jackson. No telling. It looks like it may have spread a little bit during the fall too. So that'll be interesting. I'm anxious to see what that is. But one of the things I wanted to show you, I didn't plant this, but uh, some nice squirrel or bird did. This is um, Bignolia um, capriolata, I believe, is, if I'm saying that right. Bignonia capriolata, or what's commonly known as a cross vine. It's native here. Um, I didn't plant this. Some squirrel or bird um, <clears throat> donated a seed for this, apparently, and dropped it. And this vine came up. I saw it growing on the fence, but I didn't know what exactly what it was. And yeah, I knew it wasn't poison ivy or poison oak or anything like that. But um, beautiful, thick, heavy, waxy bloom, and hummingbirds have been all over it already. It goes over the fence, and there's a big clump of it blooming right there, and it's climbing up that tree I've noticed over there. You can see it climbing up the tree right there. But um, just a beautiful flower. Thought I'd share that with you. I'm sure everybody, some people have these in your yard. <clears throat> anyway, wonderful gift from nature. That ends up. I'm going to get back to it. I've got weeds to dig, rocks to move, <laughs> brush piles to pull, and um, <clears throat> flowers to enjoy as much as I can. So um, get out and work in your garden. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the grow room in a few days.